friends and welcome to another video. don't know how to properly do the light because the sun comes in and out all the freaking time this morning and it's super annoying I've been trying to film for like solid 10 minutes now and I I just gave up so in this video I'm gonna do some uh, classical painting recreations it's been a while I hope you don't listen to the cicadas as much as I do like let me close the window two seconds ah yeah that's so much better so yeah I'm doing another painting recreation in this video. Uh, if you haven't checked my previous videos, I did uh, René Magritte and I also did some Pre-Raphaelite paintings in general because the, I'm such a huge fan of the Pre-Raphaelite movement so I couldn't, I wasn't able to choose a specific artist for that. Uh, you can always leave me any suggestions in the comments below of artists you want me to try. Occasionally you send me messages on Instagram uh, with uh, video ideas but I never answer and I'm so sorry for that but uh, I have a very toxic relationship with Instagram, it's like on and off all the freaking time. Uh, quite recently I got the Reels feature after God knows how long. <laughs> anyway, this is YouTube, this is another platform. I will leave my Instagram rant for another day. But yeah, I'm starting to use the app again. And so I decided to do some Archie videos for you guys since you really enjoyed them. And for today's video, the artist we're gonna dive into uh, is Edvard Munch. I'm pretty sure you already know which painting is his fam most famous one. It's a uh, the scream. I'm not gonna recreate that. This is what I always like to do when I do painting recreations. I don't want to create the most famous ones because that's first of all really hard because they are famous for some specific reason and that's because they have some distinct features that I, I will be unable to recreate them but apart from that I really like finding the more uh, unknown works of the painters and so for today's video I found some really good ones uh, Edward Munch had a I don't know <laughs> he really liked drawing women in very uh, mundane positions and I really really like that I really want to see how it will look here in my room with the crazy light that's going on today three paintings I'm gonna recreate oh before I start, I really wanted to recreate the painting The Vampire. It's amazing, I really love it and it's so close to my aesthetic, but it has two people, you know, to make the embrace and I'm alone here <laughs> in lonely land. And so I didn't know what to do initially. I thought about hugging a pillow and dressing it up as a person, but that would have been pretty cringe and also pretty sad. So the first painting I'm gonna recreate is called Weeping Nude. Of course I'm not gonna show you the process of that. I really like her pose, I really like how she leans like that and I, I really want to try to recreate the colors and the light in this and I hope my hair uh, manages to cover uh, my body. Uh, the other painting is called Morning Girl Sitting on a Bench. Yeah, th see, this is what I was talking about. A morning girl sitting on a bed, and it's so... It's such a beautiful and simple painting. I really want to see how I'm gonna manage to make it look like that. Of course, I'm really excited to see how to recreate uh, the, the clothes, because I, I really love this aesthetic. Like, oh my god, I wish I could walk outside dressed like that. But I live in Greece, and here people uh, stare. I mean... People stare everywhere, but here it's extra, extra annoying and embarrassing, so yeah. The last painting I will try to recreate, I'm, I'm having them here on my phone, this is why I'm not looking at the camera, but yeah, it's called Girl Looking Out the Window, and this one, first of all, it doesn't look like a moon painting, but apart from that, I absolutely adore the lighting, and I don't think I'm gonna make it like that because it's nighttime but I'm really really I'm really hyped 
to try it. It's an amazing painting, I really like it and I'm so glad that I found it because I had no idea Munch drew paintings like this. So yeah, without further ado, it's been a long intro. I'm gonna jump into the video and I will try to recreate the first painting and I'll see you then. We'll probably shoot my setup on my phone. Here's the sun again. Just I hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate this. Ugh. Okay, so this is the setup. As you can see here, I just put three different fabrics in hopes that it will make a cute color combo that will look like the original painting. Now I'm gonna take my clothes off and pose. But yeah, let's see the end result. Okay, so I really liked how the first one turned out. I think I nailed the pose like a hundred percent. The only difference is the colors in the background because the original one had red and blue tones and I have purple burgundy tones, but honestly I prefer it this way because it's my own aesthetic, you know, it has my own color palette and I did not do much of editing, I just did some color correction and added some noise because it's something I adore doing lately and here's the final look. Hello again, so I made a little corner over here with some candles and you know I tried to make it all white, you know, white curtains, white bed sheets, white uh, thingy on the table and um, I dressed up, I found some similar clothing I'm gonna show you actually and now I'm gonna take the photos I will light the candle and maybe close the window a bit because it's a very shadowy shot Oh my god, I love this one! I love this one! Ho ho ho! The second one did not need any editing at all. I mean, it's just, it came out so good. I only changed the color of the, uh, the candles. It was a bit of orangey and I made it more yellowy. But other than that, I just, I did so little uh, adjustments, added some noise again, and it was done, basically. Here's the final look. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> it's a hundred percent accurate. Hello, friends. So I've been procrastinating very, very much with the last photo because my space doesn't look like that, and I'm trying. I don't want to give up and choose another painting uh, because I really like that one. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to make my space kinda, you know similar to the photo. I'm trying to, to trick the frame to do it and I've been trying to make a curtain and a window like that and it's it's been a bit tiring and I just wanna try it now to get it over with. Oh my god. This is the robe I'm gonna wear. I really like how you know Victorian-esque it looks and I hope I can save this one with editing because holy fucking shit it's hard don't know what I'm doing yeah <laughs> anyway let's let's try it so the last one first of all I forgot to record the editing process so I'm just showing you the layers one by one this one I didn't like uh, the setting but the color correction the blue light I added was really good but it doesn't look like the original but that's okay it happens so that was the last photo I hope you enjoyed this I hope you get inspired if you ever recreate any paintings just tag me on Instagram or TikTok I don't know I just I would love to see your own ideas and recreations and of course leave me any ideas in the uh, comments down below uh, I almost had a stroke while <laughs> saying this sentence so I think it's time for me to go eat and relax because I've, I've been filming all day and I'm starting to sweat this makeup off so yeah we'll see you in my next video bye